In this section, we will discuss what is a Scala product and what is a norm of a product. We have seen that if we have a vector and a scalar, we can consider the product. We can multiply the vector by the scalar, namely multiplying each component with the given scalar, with the given number. Another operation is the scalar product, also called dot product because it is, its symbol is dot. Consider two vectors, A has co components 2, 3, and the vector B with components 4, 5. Then the dot or scalar product of these two vectors is the sum of the products of the corresponding components. So we take the first component from the first vector and multiply with the first component from the second vector. And then we add the product of the remaining components. This time it gives the number 23. One vector has the input, another vector is the input, and scalar has the output. That's why we call it a scalar product. In general, we can have two vectors from some space Rn, that means the number of components may be n, and maybe even very large. And then the scalar product is the sum of the products of these pairs of, of components a1, b1, plus a2, b2, plus up to a sub n times b sub n. And this long sum, plus, 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 can be abbreviated using this uh, capital Greek sigma letter. And this is just an abbreviation for, for sum. And here the index i runs from 1, corresponding to the first term, up to n, corresponding to the last term. And this is a sub i times b sub i. This space is multiplication of real numbers, and this dot is multiplication of vectors. The only condition is that uh, the two vectors must be from the same space. They must have the same number of components. What are the properties of this operation, of this scalar product? Because multiplication of real numbers is commutative, if we reverse the order, we get the same result. So also the scalar product is commutative. A to B is B to A for N to A and B vectors. Also, if we multiply one of the two vectors with the number, with a scalar, independent which one, then we get the same result as if we uh, compute the scalar product of the two vectors and multiply it by the scalar uh, in the end. Uh, this is called distributive because if we take a product of A and sum of two vectors, the result is the same as if we multiply A, B, A, C and add. But this plus, in this plus, is not addition of reals. This is addition of vectors. Also, we can consider the scalar product of a vector with itself, a dot a. And then we get a1 times a1 plus a2 times a2. That means sum of squares of the components. And because for any real a1, the square is never negative, and so it's non negative. Uh, yeah, non negative. And the sum of non negative numbers is a non negative number. So the scalar product of the vector with itself is definitely greater than or equal to zero. It may be equal to zero in one single situation when the vector itself is completely zero. Well, and this operation, multiplication vector with itself, can be used to introduce norm of a vector, sometimes also called modulus or length or magnitude of the vector. If we go back to plane, two-dimensional space, then for one vector in the plane, the length of the vector using Pythagorean theorem can be computed as a square root of a sum of squares of the two components.
Well, and if you consider the scalar product of a vector with itself, this is also sum of squares of the components. So if we take the square root of this, we take we get the generalization of the Pythagorean theorem, and this can be defined as a norm of the function. It resembles absolute value, but to show that this is something more, something special, we just don't use single bars, we use double bars. And this scalar product can be expressed as sum of squares of the components. So let's consider the following example. We have a vector a hello with components 1, 2, 5. Then the length, the, the modulus, the norm of this vector is square root of sum of squares of the components. 1 squared, 2 squared, 5 squared. And we sum that, sum, sum, we sum these three numbers and we take the square root, giving uh, the result square root of 30. Something between 5 and 6. I don't know exactly. So that was a very important operation, scalar product of vectors and normal.